Okay, now we are going to solve problem 3.48 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine the current through 10 kilo ohm resistor using mass analysis. So this is the 10 kilo ohm resistor. So we need to find out how much the current that flowing through this resistor using mass analysis. Okay, let's do exactly that. Now let's draw the loops here. Let's name this loop 1. This one here is loop 2, this one here is loop 3, and the last one here is loop 4. Okay, let's start at loop 1. So let's start at loop 1. Okay, KVL as usual, so sigma V is equal to 0. And we start from this voltage source the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign is negative and the value is 6 now we move to this 4 kilo ohm resistance we write 4 but remember this is kilo ohm so the current will be in milliampere and the current that pass through it is I1 we focus on I1 here but I4 is following is flowing to the opposite direction so I subtract it like this and for this resistor I have 1 so times I1 but I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so I will have minus I2 and this 4 volt voltage source is flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and the value will be 4 and that will equal to 0 minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 I move it to the right hand side so I will have 2 in the right hand side and for I1 I have 4 plus 1 it's 5 I1 so I will have 5I1 for I2 I only have this one so minus I2 and for I3 I have none for I4 I have this one minus 4I4 and yeah let's save this as equation number one and let's move on to loop number two we start from this voltage source so I will have loop 2 KVL sigma V is equal to 0 and here the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 4 and this 1 kilo ohm resistance multiplied by I2 but I1 is flowing to the opposite direction so I subtract it and then we move on to this resistance plus 2 times I2 I4 is flowing to the opposite direction so I subtract it and the last one is 10 kilo ohm resistance it is plus 10 multiplied by I2 but I3 is flowing to the opposite direction and that will equal to 0 and I will move this minus 4 to the right hand side so I will have that all equal to 4 and for I1 I only have 1 here minus I1 for I2, I have 1 plus 2 plus 10, it is 13. I2, for I3, I have this minus 10, I3, and for I4, I have minus 2, I4. Okay, let's move 
and let's save this as equation number two save first equation and second equations let's draw a line so we can see clearly now let's move on to the loop number three We start from this 10 kilo ohm resistor. Then we multiply it by I3, but I2 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I subtract it. 5 times I3, but I4 is flowing to the opposite direction. Minus I4. And then for this voltage source, the current flowing from negative to positive, so I will have minus 3. And that will equal to 0. Now what can we do here? For I2, I only have minus 10. I2, for I3, it's 10 plus 5, it's 15. 15 I3. And for I4, it's minus 5 I4. And I move this minus 3 to the right hand side. So I will have this. Let's save this as equation number 3. Okay, now we move on to loop number 4. Loop 4. Again, we use KVL. The sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero. And here, let's start from this 3 kilo ohm resistor. So 3. And the only current that pass through it is I4. And then I move to this 5 resistance times I4. But I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. And then I move on again to the 2 kilo ohm resistance times I4 minus I2 and then the last one I move again plus 4 I4 minus I1 and that will equal to 0 and now we have for I1, I have only this one, minus 4 I1, for I2, I only have minus 2 I2, for minus 3, I only have minus 5 I3, and then for I4, I have 3 plus 5, it's 8, 8 plus 2, it's 10, 10 plus 4, it's 14. 14 I4 and that will equal to 0 and let's save this equation as equation number 4 now we have 4 equations with 4 variables and we can write that as matrix and let's do that this one is 5 minus 1 0 minus 4 and then here we have minus 1 13 minus 10 minus 2 and here for loop 3 I have minus 10 oh no no for I1 it is 0 this is 0 this is minus 10 this is 15, this is minus 5, and now we have minus 4, minus 2, minus 5, and I have 14. Now we can multiply this by I1, I2, I3. I4 result will be 2 4 
3 and 0 and what we need to do is plug this into MATLAB and we will get all the current I1 I2 I3 and I4 and let's clean up the board and let's see what we get from MATLAB so here is the result of calculation using MATLAB so I1 is this, I2 is this, I3 is this and I4 is that but we are asked to find the current that passed through this 10 kilo ohm resistor so it is this current I2 minus I3 because I2 is larger than I3 so the direction of the current will follow I2 so it's here and we will have 4.0435 minus 3.89 five seven and let's leave this to my lovely calculator so we will have i is equal to okay let's insert that value okay now i have zero point one four 78 milliampere and here is the final answer hopefully i did not make any mistake in the calculation and as always thanks for watching